Hi everyone, and welcome to the first bonus episode of Pokemon Ruby. Now, last time, we became the champions. Now, while we're back, I want to show you something pretty cool. Hands up if you remember when I set that time. No, I'm not recording at the exact same time. That has not changed. <laughs> wow. That's quite funny. But wait, our dad's here. Hey, it's Tom. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh yes, I have something for you. This came from someone named Mr. Briny. And we get the SS ticket. Hmm, a ticket for a ferry? If I recall, there are ferry points in Slateport and Lily Cove. Tom, if you have ambition as a trainer, go to the Battle Tower. It should teach you that there is no end to a trainer's chosen path. I better get back to Petalburg Gym. Mum. Thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. Mum! Dad! Come on, dude! Call him! Call him! Something other than Mum! Whatever. Anyway, what you want to do is go over to this TV, click it. We bring you a special news bulletin. We received reports of a blue flying Pokemon in various Hoenn location locales. If you're playing Pokemon Sapphire, this is going to be a red Pokemon. The identity of this Pokemon has not yet been determined. We now return you to our regular movie presentation. Yep. Like I said, if you're playing, it's. I'm not gonna lie, it's a legendary Pokemon. You can just tell from that description. Look at our team. Isn't that brilliant? Swampert did get a little overpowered in that. But, you know, we're all good. I wanna go ahead and fly to. Mossdeep, real quick. Alright, here we are! Now, what I want to show you is you remember Steve's house, right? I don't want to call him Steve, but Stephen. It's a letter. To Tom. I've decided to do a little soul searching and train on the road. I don't plan to return home for some time. I have a favour to ask of you. I want you to take the Pokeball on the desk. I decided as a Beldum, my favourite Pokemon, I'm counting on you. May our paths cross someday. Stephen Stone. Yeah, he's given us a Beldum. There's no space for another Pokemon. I'm gonna go grab it. I'm just gonna go and um, drop a Pokemon off. Okay, this Beldum does only one of these in the game, and it is the Pokemon that at level 45 will evolve into Metagross. So I'll just put it out there. At some point, I'm definitely gonna be do. I'm gonna do an episode. I'm you know just like a. Uh, I'll add it onto my Pokemon Ruby playlist, but how far I've gotten on Ruby since I've just been playing it for funs. For funsies. And you will see a Metagross on my team. Because this Pokemon I desperately want to train. I'll be playing this game tons. It still makes me feel really old the way that it's almost been 10 years since it came out. This Pokemon can be a little tricky to train at some point times. Mainly because the only Pokemon it knows is the move it knows is Takedown. Bit of a risk, but we're gonna go ahead and actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an XP share and just start training it right now. Not on camera, don't worry. Right, but what I do want to be doing is go to Pacific Log. There's one thing I want to check real quick. Let me just go to my bag. Just in case we bump into it, I've got my Master Ball on me. Actually, let's go over back to Rustboro, because they tend to have quite a few cool Pokeballs in stock. Especially now we've come this far in the campaign. In, like, the main story. I feel bad calling it the campaign. Don't know why. Okay, we've got Timer Balls and Repeat Balls. Now, I'm going to go ahead and buy 10 Timer Balls. Uh, 5 Repeat Balls, just for jokes. I'm fine for Pokeballs. I honestly don't need any more than I've got right now. And then we're going to fly to a more popular, you know, an area that's going to have higher quality Pokeballs. Back to Mosty, which I really should have gone and got earlier. I was a bit of a fool for doing so. You're a fool. 
I am a fool, aren't I? And I'm gonna go ahead and buy... Yeah, just get 15 Ultra Balls. I don't really have much I can sell, so... We're gonna fly to Pacific Log again. Alright, I showed this late... I showed this, like, previously. I don't know if it was in the collab episode or what, but... You want to surf this way. Yeah. I'm just double checking to make sure I'm going the right way, and I, I'm definite I am. I do kind of want to get Shedinger out of the front line, though. Uh, let's go put... Let's put Flygon out. Right, you'll notice the land sort of extends out. I uh, just avoid you. So you want to slip through here. Pretty sure it's like up there. And yep. Okay, last time this was just water. Nothing important. I think it was like a big rock or something. But now it's the sky pillar. Right, before you come here, you want the Mac bike. I just want to get out right now. Do not come here unless you have the Mac bike. Because this place can actually be a real pain. You've got to be quick. Right, I'm going to save up here. This area does actually require quite a bit of either persistence, repels, or resetting. No, I think what we're supposed to do is go... Not like that. Okay, we're back down here. And we're going to run into... You run into powerful Pokemon here. Yeah, basically. So you want a Pokemon that can escape fairly easily. Which I'm pretty sure Fly... No, I don't want Pokemon. Which I'm pretty sure Fly Flygon can. There we go. Right. As soon as we're able to push our way through this... And I'll tell you what, this is difficult to do on a GameCube controller, so that's why you're going to see me str- Oh god, that's why you're going to see me struggling a fair little bit. Yes, we did it. Right, there come those moments where you just want to save. You just want to say... No! Because you don't want to have to go back there. Yeah, this recording may involve a little bit of resetting, we don't know. This is like sort of a safe safe haven this level here because if you fall down the platforms you don't have to go right back to the bottom you merely land on the platform below you which is convenient right, I'm not too sure which way I'm supposed to do this um crap that did not work that did not work one bit But you guarantee me, what is on top of this tower? I guarantee you, what is on top of this tower is more than worth you spending, I don't know, an hour, even more, getting past this section. Crap. Yeah, that's a new, you have to make such a tight turn. And unfortunately, like I said, using a controller like this is not... Hand wow, crap, I actually did it. No, I wanted to go along. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I messed up. Let's go ahead and... No! No, 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 no. Oh, you have to hit it directly in the middle. Yes, we did it. Okay, that's a save moment right there. I think there might be just another safe haven bit, though. So, we could be lucky. And if we get through this quick, I'll be able to fit everything in one episode. Wait a second, is this it? Nope, we've still got a little more to do. And I'm pretty sure the higher you go up, the more powerful the Pokemon... Yeah, the higher you go up, the more powerful the Pokemon get. So you do want to watch out. Let's go ahead and get our bike. And we've got like another safe floor here, so... 
No, we're there! This is it. Wow, this I did not expect. Looky here. That was easier than I remember in my head. Right. We're going to get Flygon to start this. Or are we? Yeah, we should. This is Rayquaza, the uber legendary of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Before we start, I think it's become tradition. Pokeball for good luck! This is the last legendary we're actually going to have to work to train, work to catch. But this thing is hell to catch. Alright, let me just say right now, it's very tempting to use your Master Ball on this thing. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you want to. But, don't. Trust me. Don't. Oh, crap. Uh, let's go ahead and use it. Okay, you're gonna... Yeah, this Pokemon's down with Rest. Which is gonna make... Trying to catch it part easier and part harder. And unlike the Regis... It's kind of more, and even unlike Groudon, it's powerful. This Pokemon is so powerful. On Emerald, you can get this without having to take, before taking on the Elite Four. So, right, it's going to go use Outrage, which is a risky move. And it's powerful. We're not going to get many chances to catch this thing. I feel I'm going to be here a long, long time. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Great Ball. I've actually armed myself with Timer Balls this time. Just being safe. Nope, no luck. Man, if I could catch you on green health, that would be awesome. Yeah, this Pokemon likes to confuse itself. Uh, Nest Ball, why not? <laughs> We're just being stupid around about this point. One. Ah, oh, we actually got our first roll from Rayquaza. That's going to take out Swampert, but it's going to be confused. Alright, here we go. Let's use Dusclops. Our Pokemon are already going down. This is going too quick. I do have revives and stuff. Curse is stupid. It's the move that you do not want to... Let's use a repeat ball. Why not? Yeah, that's right. I've caught Rayquaza before. One. I really haven't, actually. I'm just messing around with you. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Yeah. And because of its pretty large attack, it's going to do a fair bit of damage to itself. Uh, let's use the last Pokeball here. Uh, come on. Use, just use Rest or something. It's confused. At some point, it's going to want to turn around and use rest, so... Nah. Nest Ball doesn't seem to be working out so well. It's hurting itself again! Fine! That's doing me! You're doing the job for me! Okay? I'm, I'm okay with that. Nope. Come on. It's using Outrage again? Wow. Okay. Hold on. Hold the boat. Dragon is not super effective against Shedinja. So surely Shedinja can just stand there and take it. Because Outrage, it will force you to attack two or three times in a row. So I... No, actually, I'm going to take this time to revive, strangely enough. Perfect. Let's use one more revive. Actually, no. Let's use a Great Ball. Nope, not working. Not happening for you either, is it, Rayquaza? 
and he's confused. Yeah, this is getting worrying because if it starts attacking itself like it did last time, Rayquaza's going to take itself out. Rayquaza is a very risky Pokemon to catch. One. No, it's rolling once. It's like taunting me. It's flying. That's a bad sign, actually. Hang on, it's confused when it's up in the air, so I may get lucky. Hey, I don't know, but we're going to hope for the best. With a, let's be an absolute idiot, this is not going to work. Because it's a timer ball, and the time hasn't even passed much yet. See? Come on, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. <laughs> oh, wow, I actually did. Alright, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop in yourself. Stop in yourself. Stop in yourself. He's gonna use rest. It's inevitable. And unless he's like desperate to take out Shedinja. God, this is risky. Alright, fine. I reckon he'll snap out of his confusion now. Uh let's use an Ultra Ball. This Pokemon is just awesome. If you get it, it's pretty handy if you want to train Pokemon from the Elite Four. Oh god, no, 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 no! Oh god, that's, that's painfully close to going out. This would be a good time to catch it, though. In a repeat ball, that'd be fun. One. Ah, uh, no, I think repeat ball's just taunting me. It's gonna use rest. Yeah, that was... We knew that was gonna happen right off the bat. But that does put it asleep for three turns, which means we can start throwing more balls at it. Uh, indeed, a Pokeball! This is like, what, less than, probably like, less than 1% catch rate. Or even roll rate. I don't know. Oh, I've got a feeling we're going to be here longer than we were with the Reggies put together. Like I said, it's tempting to use the Master Ball for this fight. Don't. Just don't. I know from my own bad experience that using a Master Ball on this Pokemon, yeah, I mean, it would be worth it if there wasn't another Pokemon we were looking for. Let's use another Repeat Ball, see if we can get it to roll more times. And like I say, it might just be taunting us to roll once and not work. No, wait, there we go. Hee hee! The only move that can damage us is Fly. Um, oh, trouble! If it tries using Outrage, then that's actually doing us some favours. We're actually trying, I've just realised, we're actually trying to catch Rayquaza with simple balls when it's on full health. If we could do this... That would be mad. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're having much luck. Because the percentage of this is just... I don't know the math behind it. But, it's pretty insane. Oh, he's using Outrage, which means he's going to confuse himself. Works for me. Nope. No such luck. Oh, no. I think because it avoided it, it's not going to use it again. I've got two Nespals left. Just use one. One. Ah. Oh, God. He's using Fly. That's bad. Um, Shedinja's actually putting up a good fight, so I say... Sacrifice Beldum! Get Shedinja back out! One clever thing to do it would be use Grudge. For those of you who don't know what Grudge is, if you use it and the Pokémon takes you out, it will eliminate all PP for that one move. So it's a pretty helpful thing. If I could do that for Fly, that would make Shedinja the ultimate Pokemon to fight Rayquaza with. We're going to use Notchable. Nope. Why am I doing this? Why am I trying... Honestly. Why am I trying to catch... Uh, Rayquaza on full health... <laughs> Without doing a thing to it. Oh, wow, we actually missed. Alright, I'm not complaining. You know, we should really do some damage to it. Uh, let's use an ice beam. Okay, now you just taunted me. But you will regret that. 
Maybe if I could freeze him. Come on. No. No, he's fine. As long as this next move does not crit. And that doesn't take me out. Alright, never mind. Shedinja is our final Pokemon. Funnily enough, Shedinja is actually a good Pokemon for catching legendaries. It's a weird one. But we're going to go ahead and use a... Yeah, this isn't going to work because Time of Ball takes a lot. You have to be in a game a lot of moves for a Time of Ball to work. There's no way we're avoiding this. Unless we use a revive. Now you might be saying, why are you wasting, you know, like, oh, why are you wasting your revives? Uh, well, let me just put it this way. What else do we use them for? There is honestly nothing else we need any reason to use a revive for other than the Rayquaza battle. Right. Let's go ahead and hit it with another ice beam. It's going to rest now. Maybe we can hit it with like an ice beam. It's not going to freeze now that. Maybe we could get a critical and throw a couple of balls at that. Because a critical will not take it down. I'm somewhat nervy about using this other ice beam in case I take it out. Then again, it's pretty likely it might just take me out in the process. Okay, it's on red health and it's sleeping. Let's do the smart thing and use an Ultra Ball. The smart and the boring thing. No rolls? Didn't think so. See, when you do a smart thing, nothing happens. But what about when you do the stupid thing and use a Nest Ball? Nope, nothing happens again. Now he's going to wake up, but he's rest again. He's flying. He's flying high. Do I have any healing items? Actually, I have a full restore, don't I? It's like hidden away somewhere that I really could have used for the Stephen battle, but I never thought of it. I never realised I had that full restore. See, it's just a standard move. I mean, face it, he is like miles levels ahead of us. So let's go ahead and use a great ball. No, I'm definitely going to have to do like a separate thing for the bonus episode. Like a second bonus episode. He's resting. This is difficult. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's use Ice Beam. He'll sleep for three turns, which means we can hit him with one Ice Beam, throw a couple of Pokeballs at it, and hopefully it'll want to rest again. You can only hope. Wow, that did a fair bit of damage to him. Alright, let's use an Ultra Ball. Nope. There is one thing I don't want to point out that about Rayquaza is it shiny form. Now many of you will never actually get to see this on your own game. But someone happened to show me Black Rayquaza. Now the first thing that popped into my head was Black Dronza from Beyblade. When Beyblade was good. <laughs> I remember it's like it sells for two hundred pounds on eBay, you know. Or Amazon, that's it. It's mad. But, Black Rayquaza is awesome. It looks so badass. He obviously got it with cheats. But, just like any wild Pokemon, there is an 8, 000, 1 in 8,192 chance of a legendary. Those odds still apply to legendaries. The legendary shiny Pokemon. They still apply. So, you have a 8,192 chance that you will come across a legendary... And it'll be shiny. Now, pe what people like to do is just sit there and reset their game. People have done it. Like, I've seen people reset their game thousands of times. Just to get a shiny. Oh, no. This is it. We're out. We are so out. This is our last chance. Timer ball. It's not going to work. I think timer ball is reliant on the time. You can't catch it unless under certain terms. Oh, no. He missed. Alright. Looks like we're playing some more. This is actually going on longer than I thought it would. Nope. Oh god. Yeah, that's it. We've got to be out now. Alright. Uh, cue the montage. This is going to take a long time. Two. 
Ah! Oh! oh my god, I actually got two wrong. So we can actually catch it in a nest ball. To hide behind you for a sneak attack. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Full health. Repeat more. Three rolls. I would have freaked right the F out if I would have caught that. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> You just want to use rest. Seriously? It's learnt by now that it's not going to be able to take down Shedinja, so it just wants to go back to sleep. Surely I should let it. Pugables are having a lot of luck, though. One. Two. Three. Yes! We caught Rayquaza in a Pokeball in green health. Oh my god, we did it. I am so happy with myself right now. Think about that. Rayquaza, green health, Pokeball. That grudge technique from Shedinja worked like a tree. Rayquaza's data adds his Pokedex. Rayquaza lived for hundreds of million years in the Earth's ozone layer, never descending to the ground. This Pokemon appears to feed on water and particles in the atmosphere. You look as awesome as you do. Fine, I'm not complaining. Yeah, we got him. Right. There was one more thing. We need to do. But. I'm gonna win. Well, should we end? The yeah, we should end the episode here. It's only one small thing, so the next episode's not gonna be very long. But it's gonna be important. So next time on Pokemon Ruby. We're going to take on a final legendary, what I've been going on at you guys to save your Master Balls for. Until then.